Welcome to episode 7 of Biolanguage TV. I'm your host, Don Corey, and today we're going to focus on tie color. Now, tie color is much more important than many of us realize. I myself used to have well over 100 ties in my closet with multiple colors and designs and multiple personalities. What I've since found is that I really only need about 20 ties, and of those 20 ties, when they get old, I replace them with the exact same tie. Why? Because a tie says a whole lot about what it is that you're saying non-verbally. Today, we're going to focus on the red spectrum. And so what I mean by that is we're going to start with the darker maroon burgundy type color, move to the red and then to the pink, and what all those three necessarily mean. So, to get started, let's start with maroon, the one I have on right now. You can call it maroon, you can call it burgundy. It is a darker red. And what does that signify? That signifies leadership, courage, and credibility. You'll often find Barack Obama wearing this tie. Take a look at this picture. When he's going into an important meeting like 10 Downing Street with a one-on-one -on -one with Gordon Brown, or, I've also seen him wear it when he's going one-on-one -on -one with another ex-president or someone else who's very important. Now, the red tie, which is a lighter color, we would often wear to communicate sensitivity, love, and passion. Barack Obama often wears the red tie when he's talking in front of a large group of people, as you can see in this picture. Now, what's up with all these pink ties lately in Washington? Well, a pink tie will signify friendliness. It signifies passiveness. It also highlights feminine characteristics. Now, many of these congressmen are wearing these ties during the health care debate because this is the message that they want to communicate about themselves. Look at John Boehner here. Okay, so let's bring it all together for the Reds. For maroon or burgundy, it's leadership, courage, and credibility. For red, it's passion, love, and sensitivity. And for pink, it's friendship, highlighting feminine characteristics, and passiveness. Okay, thank you all very much, and I can tell you that I have had significant client discussions for a half hour or more based on what tie they should wear for maximum effect into a situation that they are entering. So please comment on this episode. I look forward to reading them and have a great day. And tomorrow on our next episode, we're actually going to talk about five common displays that you'll often see people in, in how they set themselves and we will comment on what that might indicate. Thanks again. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.